and tell everybody I'm back from the hospital. Hey folks, I'm back from the hospital. Yeah, after that fight and the guys beating me up earlier, I'm back. Luckily they only broke one of my legs, so uh, I'm able to, to hobble along with the camera. It's all good. Oh wow, what's your for Guam? Wow, Jack, it's amazing. Yeah. Unfortunately, guys, I'm going to hobble a little bit. Can't really blame him, to be honest. If somebody came along here and started picking on me, I'd probably lose it as well. Still super hot, actually, guys, I tell you. Massive respect for the trooper over here that shouted earlier on uh, when it all kicked off. Slowly going to the tunnel. Not sure if this trooper is going to pose for pictures or not. I guess we'll find out in a second. No, nope, there have been no more ruggy stories yet. I have no idea what else might be delivered there. Beautiful light, in fact, here at the back. Really amazing light. This is seven minutes, people. It's part of the reason why I'm in the inside here. Are you going to do a video of the new viewpoint? Wait, which new viewpoint? What do you mean, yesterday's end of the inspection? That video's already up. Unless I'm missing, unless I'm missing what you're asking. Welcome back, Debbie. If the guys just quit. Okay, I'm gonna get on the on the wrong line with all of the Torons uh, and see what happens. Oh, I know the Muffin Man. Uh, if you mean the Muffin Man Cafe in Kensington, yeah, I know it very well. Cheers, Todd. Thank you. It's strobing a little bit at the top, isn't it? Yeah, let's do the uh, pre-rave room. They lay down, they get really drunk in there before they go to the uh, to the rave. Uh, what happened earlier? It all kicked off, Jason. A couple of clowns came through here, uh, started massively kind of trying to gang up on Busker. Completely out of order. He wasn't doing anything. He was just here filming. Two dickheads came along started getting on his face, uh, calling him an idiot and all this kind of stuff, so obviously I had to kind of say, look guys, you're being unreasonable, you're being unfair, tried to talk to them, acted like complete idiots. Um, the, the trooper over here, who's in the arch, he actually shouted out at full volume, you three, get out of here, across the middle of the yard, <laughs> imagine, first time I've ever heard that, honestly, the trooper actually shouted at the top of his voice, you three, get out of here. Uh, I will post that tonight. Why? Because that is uh, an event of potentially historic uh, uniqueness. Really extraordinary thing. 
Nope, Hank, the uniform's not different, it's a different regiment. The uniforms never change, except between the seasons. Summer uniform, winter uniform. Um, so it's a different regiment. This is the Blues and Royals, the Smalling, the lifeguards who wear the scarlet red tunics left. Yeah, regimental changeover. I posted a video of it earlier, folks, it's on the channel. Uh, full regimental changeover this morning. Oh, this kid's just chilling. He's just like, I want to be a guard when I get older. I think he's uh, in his mind, exactly. I'm looking forward to that, Lee. I really am. Especially filming those end of days in the sunset. That kid's got Otis, Otis Redding in his head, sitting on the dock of the bay. You could just sense it, can't you, from the kid. Oh, bingo. I'm here. Yes, you are. You're right there. Sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide go away. I think he left his home in Georgia uh, and headed to the Frisco Bay. Unknown, goodbye to you, thank you, and goodbye. Unknown just got himself or herself blocked, goodbye. Unknown's already gone, guys, don't waste your time replying to them, they've already just been banned by me. Uh, yep, change over, double change over, very, very shortly. I always break into song. It's either song or tears, one or the other, sometimes it's both. Uh, I'm just thinking, guys, about where to get. The problem is, with these, with these changeovers right now, they're not really enforcing, you know, first line, second line. So second line obviously should be there. However, most people are congregating here and they're not really, that I've seen anyway, this troop, um, using the horses to push them out of the way. So it's difficult. I prefer to be nearer to the front actually to see that, that moment when the trooper shouts at everybody. Uh, Unknown's already been banned, so he or she will not be replying to anyone. Why they've been banned? For their own stupidity, that's why. Oh, someone else has gone now. Got my Lindsay. Wait, I really hope that wasn't the Lindsay that Dan unblocked earlier. <laughs> that would be fun if it was. Lindsay getting banned, unbanned, and then rebanned all in the space of about, I don't know, 30 minutes? We will see. Thank you, Serenity. Serenity, that's an amazing name. Jules, welcome. Oh, we've got two minutes, actually. Damn, the guard really stealthily came out of the arch there. I didn't even hear him move. That was impressive. It was very impressive. About mouse-like silence. Wow. Okay, I'm actually quite happy now. Why? Because it means I can go over near the arch without worrying about getting owned. Brilliant. So now I'm on the line. I like it actually when they walk like that, really slowly. Um, the guard that we know that perfected the art of the slow walk, um, curiously, is not here today. He didn't ride over with the troop this morning, so I'm hoping he'll be back at some point this week. We will see. Okay, Debbie, you are back. Welcome back, Debbie. Um, glad that you made it back into the chat. Thank you, folks. Got one minute. Welcome, everyone. Oh, my favorite. What is that ficus plant? You actually landed that gift right on the ficus plant. I wonder if those ficus plants are going to stay here for the winter or whether they're also going to be removed when it gets cold. I have no idea if ficus are hardy or not. No, nope, my pleasure, Debbie. Welcome back. Some kid trying to tunnel into the box. Look. He wants to, he wants to go and join the hole, so he's digging a hole in the side of the box with his water bottle. Look. The guard's probably thinking, like, what the hell is that noise? There we are. It is, it's bong o'clock. Oh, oh, they're really on it today. That's it. Peasants get back. They're not taking any nonsense at all from the tourists today. That's it. Everybody's getting pushed back behind the white line. That's it. They're getting pushed back, folks. Everybody getting pushed back. Love it. 
Where it should be, folks, no? Pretty much. Good stuff, Trooper. Super duper Trooper, everyone. Speaking of which, you three get out of here. That's what that Trooper said earlier on. What a top man. Uh oh. 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 I, did, I wondered if the troop. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, this horse is just like, you know what? No, it's too hot. A change of heart then. Oh. <laughs> that she bothered me for a second. Whoopsie. Uh, was that. No, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't to me. It was. Uh, just the clowns that were arguing. Yeah, quite rare to see them do that action, just do a little twist around before going into the box. Yeah, like that. It's a box, here they come. Horses are pretty settled for the dismount. And that no toys trying to push me out of the way. Bong. Kidding. Pop. Thank you guys. Come here to Italy. I was going to go to Italy, but then I remember the Tensioni. I forgot the word again now. Is it Borsagetlici? Yeah, there is. Borsagetlici. Hey, that slap gets me as well. I love being slapped, actually. I didn't have a muffin for lunch, no regrettably. I splashed out and had some oat cakes. Right, here comes the fun bit, everybody, in just a moment. Okay, got a good ish spot here. Toys will look at me like, are you stupid or what? Why are you moving to the to the middle of the ground? Nice light. Very rare that they leave the doors open. Look at that beautiful light, eh, with the troopers there. Getting ready to come out for the relief guard. See the light shining into the uh, into the yard. I do, Debbie, yep. I speak English, uh, I speak bullshit, and I can speak bollocks quite well as well. Here they come. It is, isn't it? Yeah, that silhouette's beautiful. Oh, wait, right, one of our favourite troopers is back on duty. Oh, as a chitsman. He's always on the horse, look. Guy in the middle, on the left, in the middle, sandwiched between the, uh, the, the NCO and the trooper at the back. He's always on the horse. I always remember seeing him on, uh, on the horse as a boxman. Be interested to see him today as a chitsman or a gatesman. Let's see where he ends up. In fact, he's going to be the gatesman behind me. I think. Hold on. Mm, hard to tell till they change over. Let's see who it's going to be. I don't know which of these three. I'm pretty sure it'll be one of the two at the front will end up being the new gatesman. We'll see that in a few minutes. Yep, very much so. Damn, I wish I was in the tunnel actually now to film that. Never mind. Yeah, interesting how they're swapping it up a little bit. Keeping us guessing. Very, very in fact, I didn't actually remember seeing him on foot as a, as a gatesman. Oh, hold on, we've got James from the LA Lakers, guys. I think it's the Lakers top, squeezing into the frame. Move myself back a little bit, folks. I'm well out of his way. Whoever it is going to be the new gatesman. 
Oh, it is. Yep, it is. In fact, Mr. Boxman is today's gatesman. Okay, let's see what he's going to do with the tourists. He's coming quite fast. Wow. Whoa, I was not expecting that. God damn it. I've never heard him shout either, but guys, we just saw him shout. Did we get that nice and clean in the live? I think I called it, didn't I? Flip. That was really loud. I mean, that was really loud. God damn it. That made me jump. I'm never going to look at him the same way now. I'm actually going to be scared of him going forward after that. Wow. That was a lovely loud shout. Before the tourists pour in, I'm going to get a picture because he's a super good looking fellow. Amazing, that was a glorious shout. I've got a, just got a picture of him. One sec, guys, let me post that. He's su I've never actually seen him up that close. He's a very good looking fellow, that, uh, that guard. One second, guys, then we'll go to the front. Let me just post and see which one came up best. I snapped him quickly because all the toys were running over to the arches. Pretty, pretty quick, smart. What a pleasure to see him uh, in the arches. I'm maybe just popping it onto Insta now. Off to the front. Okay, folks, that picture is on Insta of our boxman as a gatesman. I'm not sure if they're going to leave the uh, the gates open here at the back of the box, but for the moment, wow, yeah, he is a good-looking fella. That's a good picture, actually. That picture is there, folks, on the Insta for anybody that wants to see him up close. Oh, good lord. I, I, I think they are going to have to leave the back of the box open because, wow, it really, really, really stinks. Ooh, even this far back. Oh, my goodness me. Ooh, it's a very whiffy, uh, whiffy smell in the boxes today. Ooh, Kentucky chicken mixed with uh, chicken korma mixed with a vindaloo all together and then put in a blender. Let's see if I can get anywhere near the horse, guys. The it's not looking likely given how many people there are. Oh, a little bit of adjustment required. Any horse experts here? It's being adjusted. Bridle. Why everybody from Breaking Bad is here getting his picture taken. He's aged a little bit, Brian Cranston, but he still looks good. I can't see Skylar though, I'm not sure where Skylar is. She's probably here somewhere. This trooper, yeah, in front of us. Um, wait, you mean the trooper on the Instagram? Yeah, he is normally a boxman. This is why I took his picture. Yeah, I can't see Skylar. But what's the name of the kid, by the way, in, um, in Breaking Bad? I forgot the name of their kid. Walter White, Skylar, and uh, I forgot the kid's name. Or uh, Hank as well, is the brother, isn't he? Who's the, uh, the uh, FBI agent. It's okay, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Damn, here comes the crush. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, that was, that was me, sorry. <laughs> Had to be done. <laughs> yeah, Skylar's definitely been in the sun a bit too long, actually. Water's looking pretty good, though. <laughs> Flynn, that's it, exactly, yeah, Flynn. 
Bye 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 bye. Welcome back everybody. How's it looking good? Yeah, we're pretty juiced up ready for the uh, end of day. Do you sleep celebrities often? Um, no. Actually. I'm not saying that it's because they're not around. I mean, they are, but it doesn't really interest me. Celebrities. Kind of anathema to me, to be honest. I'm not really interested in celebrities. Am I Busker? Uh, no, I'm not. That's why my channel is not called Busker in the Park. He's next to me on my left, Busker, so he's filming as well. <laughs> it's amazing how uh, the majority of the tourists now don't put their hands up when they uh, get close to the, to the horse and the reins. I'm not sure if it's good, amazing, or bad, amazing. But, I mean, uh, amazing is amazing. Oh, they're sharing the horse now, the sharing moment. It's like, almost like having an M&M's sharing bag, isn't it? I've actually never seen anybody with an M&M's bag here, but maybe one day. Yeah, you're right, Casey. He, I mean, he does sometimes. Um, he doesn't waffle on like I do, that's for sure. Sometimes my commentary is on point, other times it's a bit of a mess. Second. I'm struggling to know which is going to be the better end. I just know the second I move, something will happen at the end I'm not at. That's been uh, pretty much the story of my life here in the last six months. It's always the horse I'm not at, something goes wrong. I always feel like I've neglected this, uh, this boxman today, so here we are for a little while. I, I, I mean, I guess I do try to be educational, but obviously sometimes I'm you know, moderately facetious when it comes to joking about the you notorious know, and things that I see here, but it's all meant in good humour. My, uh, my deodorant because the second I come to this end everybody goes to the other end I'm actually not exaggerating look I walk to this end everybody walks off and they go to this end I thought that Gillette was the best a man can get but apparently not the second that I walk off yeah, look, oh, what? Did he shout or make any noise? <laughs> Love it. Apparently somebody's arm just got bitten everybody. Like I said, the second I walk away, something happens every time. Oh, wait, first time you thought I was serious. So you actually believed when I said the horse is only standing here for seven uh, and a half hours, you thought I was telling the truth. Also, it wasn't much longer than that. Welcome new people that are joining. Lots and lots of new people. It was nice to see. Welcome everyone. Hey, no, not colourable. Uh, no, I would argue in some respects it's better to be uh, to be trusting. At least initially until you realise whether somebody can or can't win your trust. So I don't think that you're gullible. Um, you know, I do speak seriously sometimes. Yes, I'm facetious and uh, I joke about. So you know, I, I, I think from the tone of my voice that a lot of people do think everything I say is uh, is me being serious, whereas it's not. Uh, I think the quickest sign pretty much bothers everyone. How old is the building? It was completed in 1759. It only took nine years to build this place, folks, would you believe it? A mere nine years to build a Palladian masterpiece like this, right in the centre of London. 
bearing in mind it was all built um, with hand-cut stone and constructed uh, using ropes and pulleys. Now the fact they can build all this in nine years with no modern machinery <laughs> makes you wonder why house building is so poor these days when we have modern machinery and heavy lifting equipment and you know, laser cutting tools and so on. It's an extraordinary. In some respects, humanity has, uh, has regressed, certainly when it comes to building and stonework, which is kind of tragic. Can I see the sign? There it is. Tara. Yeah, they did. Yeah, idiots. So, so it's only after that calling them out on it when they started to walk away. You remember I said, I'll come inside and I'll show you that we know some of them. That was the point they realised that they made a mistake and they were going to look stupid. That's why they marched off. It's like, uh, oh, off duty, please, crap. Dick, isn't it? I completely. Then I put it in on film. I'll put it up on the channel tonight. <laughs> there you go. No, you're not, you're not in, the, in uh, my camera. I, I was asked them earlier that during the break and they said you, you were not at all in it. But I'll check it, don't worry. Uh, what is this place in London? This is Horse Guards here in central London. And these are lovely tourists visiting Horse Guards. Look. Taking pictures of themselves with their partners, loved ones. Am I going to be here tomorrow? That is an impossible question to answer. At the moment, the forecast for tomorrow in London is rain, wet, drizzle, unpleasant. So yeah, I might well be. Then again, I might not be. We will have to wait and see. It's a lottery. When I get up, I throw the dice on the floor. If it's an uneven number, I come to horse guards. If it's an even number, uh, I typically also come to horse guards. So it doesn't really make a lot of difference. Aha, one of our favourite chitsmen. Also, often seen on the horse. I'm not sure if you realise he's on the live or not. I'm not responding to the kid who's like trying to... Uh... Oh, the Khenjis. He's a Khenjis. Is he a king? No, he's not a king. He's an emperor. How old am I? Um, I'm going to be 77 next Thursday. Yeah, exactly. Look, his friend is being smart and saying to him, oh, yeah, which means stop it. Exactly, yeah, good man. In fact, his friend. Dancing like a moron, this French kid on the left. And his friend just said, like, stop it. Second, I'm going to say, look, dégage. Let me see your face, please. Uh, yeah, scroll down to videos from two weeks ago. You can see my face on the face reveal video. You can see your non future husband. Frenchies loves the guards. Some of them seem to think it's funny, like you know, to be mildly insulting to the guard. Which is moderately amusing, I guess, pretty much, but very, 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 very moderately amusing. Don't get in my camera, chap. Trust me, yeah? don't. I said, don't get in my camera. Are you on live TikTok, sa mère? Yep, I'm live, which is exactly why I don't want your friend's face in my camera. I can, uh, my pub. You can, yeah, but I'm saying, your friend my is you're okay, being disrespectful to the guard. Your friend is being disrespectful to the guard. Ah, he's, he's at work, your friend is dancing in front of him. I can't tell you. Do you speak English? No. Ah, okay. Then it's not going to work. A little. I can't speak French. Oh, he's got 1200 subscribers. I can take. No. Are you, uh, wait, wait, I you, mean, you want to know which channel it is? What? Wait, 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 wait. let me show you. Hold I can on. do my pub. Wait, wait, look. Google. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's you? Yes. It's you? Yeah. No way. Of course, obviously. It's no. Life, yeah. It's you? Yeah. Really? You know this channel? Can I take a picture of your profile? Of course. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Devant le profil, s'il te plaît. Je veux dire, il a 400 cas, ma gueule. Regarde ma gueule. Il a 300 cas. 
No, really? How do you, I heard you saying to your friend, like, oh, wait, stop it. Your friend dancing in front of the guard, that's, like, really disrespectful. Yes. Yeah. I, he, I know you said to him, a good man for saying that. You are famous. I'm not famous. Mais non, mais non, mais non. T'es moi sur le compte, my girl. T'es moi sur le compte. Good, good job. Tu vois, il a dit, il ne faut pas lui parler, il ne faut pas essayer de faire parce que c'est respectueux. Ah bon Il te l'a dit ça Moi, si je fais une vidéo de 15 minutes. Who out of all of you speaks the best English out of all of you here you, Do you speak the best English Oh, il a fait une vidéo de 15 minutes. Yeah, because say to your friend here that was dancing, it's like, that's a really bad thing to do. Like, it's, it's, it's like if I came to France and started like, making jokes in front of Macron, it's like really, really bad thing. It's like, yeah, you know, for example, you were saying to your friend, like I read before, when he was dancing in front of the guard. It's like it's disrespectful to be dancing yes. in front of the guard. You understand? Can you tell him? Like, explain to him in French. Yeah. I can do. I can do. I can do my pub. You can do whatever anything that you want. Whatever you want. Snapchat. What, what, wait, what is your scheme? Uh, uh, Snapchat pub. Ah, well, one second. Hold on, one second. Let me get the other phone. Wait, wait. I can. Ah, Mohas. Mohas. Give me some guys. He wants me to film. Oh, wait, what, what do you want me to do with with? Uh, my pub on Snapchat. What is that? What is pub on Snapchat? What is uh, it? Uh, just for girls. Just for girls. Ah, so he, he, he wants to put his Snapchat up. Ah, okay, Snapchat okay, okay yeah. Snapchat. But tell him no swearing, no naughty words, yeah? No, no, like, no, no bad words. Tell him to be polite in the live. Do you want to speak? Yeah? He won't speak in the live. But as long as he doesn't say anything rude, he has to be polite. No, no bad words, yeah? I can't let, let, okay, let's see. Go on, you can, you can, you can. This is my Snapchat. Girl only, add me. I, uh, I'm, I am celibate, add me. This is S A M E point S H L one. This is Snap and this Instagram. And you want, you want an English girlfriend, yeah? What? He wants an English. He wants to meet an English girl. Ah, yeah. He wants. No, I'm saying. I'm asking. Does he want to meet an English girl? He wants English girls to message him on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say? Le, le, le fille anglais? Ah, ah, yes, yes. Yes? Yeah? <laughs> tu veux, tu veux que les filles anglais t'ajoutent? Yes, yes, yes. And my Instagram. S A M E tiré du 6 3 4 1 1 0. Sammy, are you from Morocco? Yes, Morocco. Ah, where are you from? Which part of Morocco? Meknes. Uh, 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 really? I've been to Meknes. Tatooine, Chefchaoun, Kaz, Tanger, Agadir. So we were all of it. Ah bon? Yeah. C'est trop beau. Morocco, uh, yes. c'est trop beau, yeah. C'est le meilleur pays pour cette guerre. C'est vraiment incroyable, c'est sûr. Algérie est bonne. C'est pas ça. Algérie est bonne. 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 Take it easy, yeah? You got what you need with your snapshot. <laughs> what? Everything? Good? Got it, yeah? yeah it's How much you put? It's a uh, you think? Yeah, I mean, it is for sure. It's courageous. Yeah, it's definitely courageous, without a doubt. Oh, what an afternoon. Wow. Okay, I think they got what they needed, guys. Everyone is famous. Hey. Oh, Good man, Chopin. A CD. Take it easy, yeah? Yes. Hey, Pink Hat, you had enough screen time. Take it easy, chap. Okay, Pink Hat's out there, out the frame now, guys. All right, let's concentrate on the uh, on the arch. Yeah, I just want me to think it's going to be a quiet afternoon. Boom, it's not ever. Yep. Yeah. Hey, got to help. Got to help the next generation. Am I right? Thank you so much. <laughs> what a day, folks. Honestly, crazy day. Yeah, there's always one in the group though that um, ends up thinking that they're 35 instead of uh, 3.5. Yeah, that was Pink Hat. Dan Khan's that is a very good question. I was thinking that myself actually. Probably not be too happy. Ooh. So is there French cheese, look. No, it's not it's not filming, look. It's a TikTok live. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Well, sorry. Sorry. You are famous. 
I wish to God I'm not laughing, honestly, seriously. But I hate TikTok, I am nutter. His poker face is brilliant. Really brilliant. Okay. Let me leave the guard alone. He's had enough attention. Wow. Unbelievable. Sir, sir, sir. Yeah, yeah. Can you make me uh, go for my uh, coaching? Go on then, go on. Yes? But only if you speak to the camera because you're a good looking guy. Go on, tell everybody. In English or French? Hey, both. Okay. Hi everybody. If you uh, research a coaching for, uh, for every, everybody, add me in TikTok. M Coach M says. Coach M says. Oh, Coach M says. Yes. For children, uh, all person, everyone. And in French. In French, in French. Yes, in French. If you si vous cherchez des coachs sportifs en France partout, ça soit en visio, en présentiel, ajoutez Coach M says. Pour toutes pour toutes les personnes âgées, mineures, toutes personnes. C'est super. I, you, I thought you were MC oh, Solar then. I'm like, dude, you got sound like MC Solar. Yes, M says. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow, what a day. The Frenchies, they're always so friendly. They always want to kind of get in, interactive. And they're like, well, you're so famous. It's like, uh, guys, I'm not. Okay, right. Moved away because the, uh, the chitsman is going to get tired of so many people sort of hassling him in the box. <laughs> Everyone's waving at the camera right now. Like, what? We're supposed to be quiet, guys. The last hour here is normally sort of you know peace and quiet before the end of day inspection. It's the time that you know I, I relax, I chill. <gasps> Goodness me, what a day, honestly. Uh, have you met anyone famous? Uh, myself, apparently, according to the Frenchies, they said that I'm famous. Uh, first of all, my, my name is not Faye, uh, and secondly, I don't look like a moose, so I'm not really sure where they get that from. Yeah, I like the way they pronounce it, by the way that French is uh, pronounced famous. The last thing I'd actually, actually realistically want to be is a famous. Or even famous. I didn't even really have time for lunch. Uh, have I met J200? I have, in fact. I met him several times. Yeah, he and Kia are extremely nice people, actually, in real life. He's a very funny guy, but in real life, he's a, he's a genuinely good person. He's got a good heart. My favourite TikTokers, actually. If only uh, most of the younger TikTokers were like J200, it would be a much, uh, much sweeter thing for everyone. He's a good guy, folks. Regardless of some of the like the pranks and stuff that I know some people have kind of questioned the pranky TikToks, but he's he's a good guy. I've met him a few times. He's a really lovely person. Oh, he's the guy that was in front of the archer just a little while ago dancing. One second. Thought. No, they're not here. They're uh, different horses right now. This horse is really, really chilling in the sunshine. Look. <sighs> that is what's going through the horse's mind. Complete relaxation. Of course, it's sleeping. It's flipping boiling here this afternoon. 30 minutes to the end of the inspection. The guards looking pretty chilled despite the heat. But no, those uh, those horses that were here on let me think. Here yeah, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, the horses that were here Saturday, Sunday uh, are not here now. The horses get rotated. I uh, just we've got some new faces among uh, among the troopers here. I didn't actually realise before. In fact, the uh, the boxman who today is the archman is in fact very tall. He's very tall, look. I'm guessing conservatively six foot three. Perhaps actually even taller than that, he's very tall. 
Oh, stuck between two regiments. Do you, do you mean the two HCAV regiments, or which, which two regiments are you stuck between? If you're talking about blues and lifeguards, I mean, one and the same, you know, brother regiments. Pretty busy in here, actually, right now. Oh god, the pink, pink hatted Frenchie's back, trying to, de trying desperately hard to uh, get my attention. Uh, I didn't hear nicely. Where is this place in London? This is Horse Guards here in central London. Yep. Brilliant to see, him, in fact. The way the troops have been rotated between the horses, the archers. Okay. Trying actively to avoid the Frenchies, or I think I've now finished. Oh my goodness me, pink hat, well. Sorry, ignore me. Sorry, thank you, though. Thank you. That's super cute. The lady, I don't know if you heard that, lady said, uh, wait for the man to do his TikToking, please. <laughs> to her kids. That was very cute. To do his TikToking. Yes, we are very close to Trafalgar Square. We're not quite midway between Trafalgar Square and Parliament Square. We're, we're marginally closer to Trafalgar Square. The actual closest tube station where I'm standing right now. Um, I mean, it's, it's probably very, very, very little difference between Westminster and Charing Cross. They're much of a muchness. I feel surprisingly sort of alive and alert and awake today, despite the heat. Very curious. I'm normally dead by this time. Group, the, the lifeguards are here today. She just explained to them that these are the lifeguards. So another tour guide, guys, without an official tour guide's lanyard. I use a tube to get here. I don't read, so I typically either walk it or jump on the bus. I live very close to here. No, it's, I mean, I'm not here to, to embarrass tall guys in front of their paying customers. These people uh, don't hire an officially approved tour guide. It's their, their problem, not mine. So it's sad, but it is what it is. It is the Blues and Royals, yeah. I have a calm disposition, except when they're getting angry and uh, it's kicking off in the box. Yeah, I mean, there's no point in hiring an official one for one pound if they tell you a bunch of rubbish. It's like if you go to McDonald's and the tour guide says to you, hey, order the vanilla milkshake. Nobody orders vanilla, everybody orders chocolate. Why? Because it's better. I think she's from New Zealand, actually. Yeah, she's explaining uh, the behaviour of the horse. Curious, very. Tall group is pretty interested, even though they're being fed a load of crap. I 
don't even know how to edit that out. Oh, it was so funny, there's a little tall guy over here pointing over saying, oh, and these are the lifeguards, uh, they're on duty here. Unofficial tour guide, no lanyard. Yeah, typical. It is a bit spready, isn't it, to be honest today. You did quite well considering you got that massive top on. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a look at it, in fact, just to make sure it's uh, not, not something if that can not, get pulled. If not, send it to me. I will clip it out, so in one way or another, whether in the private group or somewhere, we'll get most of it, don't worry. Nope, she's not guy, she's an uh, unaccredited tour guide. You need a official accreditation uh, from, I believe, the... Who approves the tour guides? Is it Greater London Authority or Mayor's, Mayor's Office? I'm not sure either. But yeah, you do need, uh, need official approval. You get like an ID card and a blue lanyard and stuff when you become a, an accredited tour guide. Um, see the proper ones here. They're pretty pretty amazing. Give you a message later. Yeah, yeah. Take it easy. I'll see you later on. Okay, right, guys, we're back. Uh, this is the part of the front here where people never touch the horses. You're not allowed to touch the horse. You'll not see any of the tourists either getting close to the horse or touching it. <coughs> Afternoon flood. I am a tour guide already. I'm an, I'm an unaccredited, unofficial TikTok tour guide for all of you. Yeah, not a good idea to be touching the king's guard, that's for sure. Unless, of course, you're his girlfriend or married to him, in which case you can touch as much as you want. Damn, it suddenly got really busy. I have I don't even know if I'm here tomorrow, let alone next Tuesday. The impossible question. Uh, I, I honestly really don't know the day before whether I'm there the next day. It depends on availability, weather, tiredness, etc. etc. I'm not sure why she's trying to sort of tell the toys how to behave. Busy this afternoon, everyone. You wouldn't expect it, would you? Because it doesn't look like it when the camera's faced in front. Exactly, yep, again. No, she might well be uh, correct, but how long will I stay live? Uh, until the life ends. So I don't know how much longer that will be, not terribly long. But we'll see folks. It's very, very warm this afternoon. It's suddenly got really busy as well. Christians everywhere. A lot of people here now. Exceptionally, everybody. I've got a single layer on today. Short sleeves, Aussie slouchy hat, and yeah, it's it's hot. It's very hot. So, even the pole I'm holding is getting hot in the sun. Focus on this horse for a little bit now. This has been the neglected one of the two today, probably because the crowd around it has been pretty large all afternoon. There's been very little opportunity to actually get really close to this horse. There's too many people, as usual. Okay, let me stay to sort of one side in the shade, that way we won't get the glare of the sunshine on the camera. Yeah, it's, it's definitely high 20s. In the yard, I'm pretty sure we've hit 30 today. Yes, he is. You're right, Dan. Yeah. Hey, no, no, that's what I'm here for. I'm happy to answer questions. I'm here for another sort of ten minutes, and then I'll go inside and grab a good spot. <laughs> Yeah. 
I'll tell you right now, the guards are definitely going to be happy when they finish today. So am I, uh, for a couple of reasons. Oh god, look who we've got over there, look. I'm not going to actually mention him or focus on him, but look. Pink Hat is again trying to get in the frame. Unbelievable, eh, these guys, seriously. Uh, yeah, funny, funny. Hilarious, guys. Yep, narcissism at its finest. Oops, wait, now I've zoomed out. I don't know they're not on it. So the second I move the camera away, they uh, get lost, which is what I wanted. Uh, it's sweet, it's an S23 Ultra. Welcome, new Quenchies. No, I don't mind. I mean, I, you know, I'm happy to talk to Tories. I had a good chat with them earlier, but yeah, sometimes it gets a little bit much. So funny when I'm not here to uh, to be working on, you know, Anglo-French relations. Exactly, look at those boots, how magnificently they're polished. Sparkling, look. I can virtually see my, uh, my own face in these boots. Oh, I'm not sure about that, Rita. I mean, I'm, my, I'm, I'm a very minor celebrity. Get for into those two cops again. No, they, uh, they ran away, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know, I guess it depends which way you look at it. Yes, they do. Uh, the boots are made of leather. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dan, I was about to say, yeah, but hey, no, no comment. You would know better than I. I'm sure he does his best. It is. It's a special tourist pilot that they scrape up from the ground at the end of the day and use it to polish their boots with. It's uh, called Toron, the brand. Toron boot polish. Of course, he's very relaxed, yeah, until he wants to have a nap. What no. in the blue top is your long lost friend from the USA? It's amazing, in fact, considering that she's from Canada. Yep. What does a COH do? He marshals the troopers. Ah, guard. Okay, so guard wearing a different colour on the horse. You would have seen the other regiment. Two regiments guard here. Lifeguards, who wear scarlet, red tunics, and blues and royals. Wow, this girl, in fact, she could even be a blues and royals. See how she shuffled? She shuffled right into the picture and then next to the horse. That was a brilliant shuffle. So, yeah, two different regiments, two different colours, hence. Uh, Occasional confusion about why they change over. They don't change the colours, they just change the regiment. The girl's shuffle is extraordinary, very impressive. Oh, Finland. People watching from Finland. Is London, is London City Walks well known in Finland? People in Helsinki go outside and uh, say, hey, do you watch London City Walks? Oh, what is this guy in the glasses doing? Where's Toby? The going glasses just came from a rave. That's it, right, ready? Toby! Go in if you want to go in. Welcome watching in Louisiana. 
Yes, we're very close to the end. Do you want to go in with Nanny? We're exceedingly close to the end. Toby! Gosh, here we go again. Uh, the horse's name was dropped in the chat earlier. Uh, I completely forgot, I don't know if Dan is still here, which, uh, which horse we were just looking at. I already forgot. Sorry, I'm terrible with remembering the names of the horses. Even I'm standing right in front of the horse, uh, I'll still call it a different name. Is there a Ferris wheel next to it? I mean, there is there is a wheel, the London Eye, is on the other side of the river, which it's not actually close to it, but. The view between the buildings over the London Eye makes it seem super close. It's only a 10 minute walk, half a mile from here where I'm standing to the, to the London Eye. Is the horse called Muffin? I have absolutely no idea. My brain is, is fried from the heat, folks. That's probably why I'm not good with the horse names today. Given the post in the chat, I'm still thinking to myself two seconds later, hold on, which horse is that? <laughs> Five minutes or so, I'll go inside, get a good spot for the end of the day. So I would rather not miss the captain arriving. After thinking about it, it's 13 minutes to now. Let me go inside in case we've got somebody arriving on horseback through the tunnel. Which is a, a distinct possibility. He says as the captain arrives by car at the back gate. Uh, is this Horse Guards? Yeah, Horse Guards Barracks, it is. This is glorious Horse Guards people. These are exhausted tourists making their way through from Horse Guards Parade. That walk across at the back there is a very hot one in the sunshine, a very hot one. But if I go out there, I think my camera's going to melt instantly. Uh, do you know what the average age of these guards are? A lot of them look very young. I would guess early to mid-twenties. I don't actually know the average age. Uh, and don't forget that a hell of a lot of the guards are not here on ceremonial. A lot of them are in the armour part of the regiment. Uh, so a lot of the, uh, the older troopers you won't see here on ceremonials. Uh, it's impossible, Abdullah, because it's down the road. It's, I can't actually show you it from, uh, from horse guards. You can't see it from here. Uh, it does, Riti, yeah, it has pelicans, uh, it has parakeets. There's all kinds of wildlife, actually. It's rather wonderful. Abdullah, you can't see it from here, chap. It's impossible. You cannot see it from this location. I like wandering around here, in fact, because the light is wonderful in the afternoon like this. I didn't know how it works, Lorna. Uh, you know, not, not in the regiment, obviously. Um, I'm not sure how it's determined whether somebody ends up being armoured side um, or so side. I don't know if they get that decision or whether the decision is made for them in there. You know, assigned. Put the number zipped up again quickly, guys. So I can just look at the total because I'm thinking about that. That 340 should happen this week. 338.3. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll make it. England, no more English. Can we get rid of that commenter, please, mods? I'm English, I live in England, so you're talking rubbish. I 
have you seen the pelican feeding? <laughs> I'm not a bird watcher, Rita. Um, I haven't. I have seen them. I've filmed them a couple of times walking through from the palace, but uh, I haven't actually bothered to take the time to sit down and, uh, and watch what they're doing. No lag on this end. If you're seeing lag at your end, just restart the app. Uh, the stream today has been pretty much flawless, I would say. That's a, that's a good question, Lindsay. I don't know. That's a question for Dan if he wants to answer it. I, I couldn't, uh, couldn't tell you if it depends on age or how it's determined about who moves where and when. It is. It's been actually one of the, the, the nicest days of the year. It's been very hot today, but pleasantly so. An actual hot day, minus the humidity. Rare. Very rare. Red Hat Coco, thank you and welcome back. Oh, there's actually a pelican feed. Okay, perfect. Next time uh, there's a pelican feed, we you invite me, I'll come and watch the pelicans feeding, okay? How about that? An Anglo-Polish pelican feast. A light ate through the tunnel. Yes, it is. It certainly is picture postcard perfect. <laughs> we can do it, Rita. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry. I like how polite people are here when they bash into me. They like push me out of the way, then they say sorry. <laughs> but I'm sorry to shove you out of the way. Interesting. I'm not seeing, I'm standing right here in front of the tunnel for two reasons. One, it being exactly eight minutes to two. There is a small chance the captain will come through. My money's on the captain already having arrived by car at the back, same as yesterday. Guess we'll find out soon enough though. We will find out very soon. Do you think? I want to make sure I don't get the same problem as yesterday with that light. When we filmed the captain and we had that rather annoying glare. I don't want to get that today. So I'm back in my usual spot guys, on the line, strictly on the line, and I've got to stand up for this as well, I need to reduce my energy levels, what better way to do it? Here we are, and very soon, well actually within the next two months, we're going to be uh, seeing our lovely guards with a glorious London sunset behind them, folks. Never, I've never personally never seen that. Either with my own eyes or on the live, so we have that to look forward to come the autumn. Thank you, folks. Actually, I completely forgot about that. The target that's pinned to the top will be today's final target. I haven't even thought about it, so it's not important. Uh, if we finish the TikTok finger target, that's it. We're done for today. A lot of people, in fact, crowding around uh, in front of the arch. Uh, I started, I think, in January recently, I wasn't doing it uh, before then. The channel's eight months old, ish, give or take. Oh, I thought there was a captain then coming through on his bicycle, but it's not. It's someone else. Thank you, Marie. Yep, I haven't yet seen the captain arrive by draft or bicycle. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually love being outside. I was doing exceedingly long walks during the live, some three, four hour walks uh, from the city of London all the way along the river into central London. I really enjoy uh, being out and about walking when it's cold. These are also lined up actually over here today. That shows you how hot it is, they're in the shade. Obviously, you know, wearing black, you're gonna get a lot hotter than anybody that's wearing white. What if it rained? Hey, no, we will love getting wet, <coughs> wet sometimes. Uh, where's Karen? No idea, she's not here though. And she'll hopefully never come back. Right, off we go ladies and gents. Trooper. When is the amazing smiling guard back? It's a very good question. Soon. Uh, I will, or oh, well, the intention is to get back out there and, uh, yeah, bash the leathers once it gets cold again, so I, I do intend to. Have I got a good spot? I don't know, Rita, what do you think? This looks pretty good to me. 
Yeah. I mean, I'm happy with this. I'm also wondering whether the um, whether the trooper is going to. Oh, I completely forgot we saw the trooper earlier, didn't we? The silent trooper bellowed. I completely forgot about that. I will make sure that I cut that out and post it later because that was the first. Where am I? Uh, Horse Gods Benjamin in central London. He should uh, exit the arches at any moment. He was very loud. I'm hoping he's going to repeat that. Guess we'll see you shortly. I haven't seen any ghosts. Um, it doesn't actually mean there weren't any. I might not have caught them. I could have been peering out the window. Hoping I was going to film them when I actually missed them. Have tourists ever pushed in front of you on a live? Oh yes, they have, and we all know what happens when they try and do that, don't we, folks? Yes, we do. Can't be having cheeky tourists pushing in front of us. Oh no. Thank you, Marie. We've actually almost finished the that final target for today, guys. Thank you all. Yes, we do. It's been a while, though, actually. Since anybody actively pushed him from. I don't know, maybe what happened shortly. Let's wait and see. There's always a chance, everybody, that somebody could push in front of me between now and the guard change starting. Uh, what's the target again? You see that little thing where people are uh, giving gifts and so on? You pin the target to the top. Uh, that will be today's last pinned target. Heavy welcome to from Florida. And I bet it's even hotter than it is here. It's pretty damn hot here, I tell you. Thank you, Margot and Sandra. Thank you, guys. Oh, I didn't actually know about Monday. Hey, welcome, Sue. Oh, here we go. Get ready for it. Oh, no, I can't believe it. They moved out of his way. God damn it. It's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? I mean, unfortunate for the trooper, uh, not for the tourists. Medal on his chest is important. I mean, it's a medal. It's inherently important. Is there such a thing as an unimportant medal? Not that I'm aware of. Uh, that would be a coronation medal. Don't worry, everybody. We heard him shouting earlier. Very loudly as well. Exceedingly loudly, in fact. Two minutes, let's get the captain cleared as he comes out of uh, the gates in a second. Coronation medal uh, for troopers, uh, also some civilians that participated in the coronation of the king. Folks, I'll be quiet in a minute while I film the captain who's coming out shortly. Look for that bing bong noise, folks. People will do them here. Actually, we're a little bit in front of the line today, but we can't move backwards because there's like loads of kids behind us. <coughs> yeah, it's imminent. Busy today, look. I mean, it is pretty busy in here, again, for a weekday. Okay, here come the troopers. We're watching the end of day inspection, Kayla, at Horse Cars in London. Get ready, the troopers are coming out now. Oh, a brand new one. Brilliant. Not perfectly in line are they, eh? Here's this Corporal of Force, folks. Right! Yes! Glorious. Yeah, just in time, you were right. It's a lieutenant, everybody, today. It's not a captain and it's not a major. He is a lieutenant.
First time we've had a lieutenant here for a while. This is not who you're thinking of, people. Uh, this chap is new. Never seen him before. He's a Blues and Royals, I think, Dan. Is he not? I think he's a Blues. Look at his trousers. Blues and Royals Lieutenant. I don't know, he's a, ten, a Lieutenant. He's got two pips instead of three on his, uh, on his shoulders. Yep, so Blues and Royals Lieutenant. Guys, I'm learning pretty quickly. <laughs> Yep, so we've got, got the regiment right, we've got the rank right, wow. I think that's the first time ever for me. Yeah, he's new. That, that one, Dan mentioned that, but I've never seen this guy before, so he really is new, new, new. Wow, what a privilege. I can't even speak. Privilege uh, to see the lieutenant here. Blues and Royals lieutenant on his first ever end of the inspection. So uh, let's see what his... Uh, his I can't even speak honestly. His verbal commands are like. I can't get my words out. Cat! By the right! Oh my god. Return! Taught! I just broke my screen on my phone. I thought my ex-girlfriend was a screamer. This guy's a real screamer. Look, even the horse is scared. Horses wouldn't even dare get on his bad side after that. If he screams at them, they're going to pass out. What happens if the uniform's out of place? They have to iron it on the floor in front of the public. Public humiliation is the punishment for uh, an un unironed uniform. Okay, let's get ready for it. It's very impressive. Of course, it's not Pluto shot at me anymore. It's basically kernel material in a lieutenant's uh, uniform. Second, not as embarrassing as me for getting blocked Wrong by it. Right. And right about will be marched. Very impressive. Perfect time in Margaret, yeah, I can't hide time for idiots. Very impressive, yeah. Exceedingly. Bearing in mind guys, he's uh, he's junior to all of the other officers we see here performing the end of day inspection. Before I forget, everybody, I, I don't think we're going to have a very loud shout because there are not enough tourists here on the line behind him. Let's see. But yeah, he's got an extraordinary voice. Uh, as I said, you know, especially for a lieutenant. Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> he still did it, you see that? <laughs> there was a little old lady in his way. He still shouted, make way. Still terrified her. 
Wait, let's just see. One second, guys. Let me see if I need to call an ambulance. She's like, oh, he just shouted at me. Oh. Damn it, you see that, everybody? When he shouted at, at the lady here, she was 36. He just screamed at her. She's now 86. This is what happens when the guard screams at you. It ages you in multiple decades, in moments. Extraordinary, really extraordinary. Damn it. So if anybody's tired of being too young or immature, come here and this guard will grow you up pretty much instantly. If you shout at this little dude in front here, he's going to be getting his pension from the post office by Wednesday. I wasn't actually expecting that he would shout um, at that little lady. I thought he'd just sort of, you know, casually push through, but boom, he didn't. Um, have I ever been screamed at? Yes. Um, in fact, both of my exes screamed at me a couple of times. Uh, then I stopped. Oh, it's standing to attention. Lovely. Those guards do not, I mean, no, nor should they. Uh, are you high maintenance? I'm not actually. Uh, as long as my partner pays for all foreign trips, all food, rent, and my clothing, I'm happy. Yeah, he is flawlessly presented, actually, this guy. How do they have to stand here? This guy will only be here until half eight tomorrow morning, so he's uh, he's not got long. Only about 16 hours left, roughly, he will take. Very tall. I never realised he was this tall before. I didn't see him off a horse. Very impressive. Hey, welcome to Gods UK. Welcome. That lady about. I know which. I know which one you're talking about. Uh, she's not. Uh, this trooper chopped her into small pieces, so she's gone. Yeah, uh, I know. It's curious, isn't it? Isn't it peculiar that sometimes morbid fascination uh, among some tourists. Um, a lady named Karen, Rita. Hey, Mariam, welcome. No room, apologies. Yep, windy days have gone. We're now in the summer. Yeah, Karen is pinned to my page. I don't want to pin her to my page, but yeah, she's uh, temporarily stuck. Me too. I, I, I personally don't typically stand for 16 hours. I prefer to do the 424 without breaks. Uh, when does he take a, when you come here, lay on the ground, and open your mouth, ideally? Thank you, baby. I'm glad you're here for me. It's very kind. Where's the horse? The guard's sitting on it. Can you see the horse? I know this guard's really tall, but he's sitting on the horse. But yes, the horse is a very small horse, but you can't see it. It's between his legs, for goodness sake. It's a, it's a pygmy blues and royals horse. Wait, some tourists are going to be standing in uh, the entrance of the Channel Tunnel taking pictures with the guard in a minute. Jesus is Lord. I thought that Lord was Jesus. I wonder if the lieutenant is going to uh, fly out on his uh, on his hoverboard in a minute. Imagine if this lieutenant screamed at a member of the public to get out of the way. They would instantly cover the floor, horse style. If he shouts at me, I'm going to be very scared, guys. It might be the first time you hear me cry on my own life. I'm really hoping he doesn't come out. I'm shaking a little bit already, to be honest, with fear. I think we can all agree that that probably was. Let me think. We all know the captain that is exceedingly loud and very clear with his words during the end of day inspection. Very tall captain. 
However, the lieutenant, um, to my mind, has the loudest voice of all. Correct me if I'm wrong, people. It's been a long time since we've heard somebody with a voice that powerful. Yes, agreed, it is, in fact. But it's great to see them off duty. You know, it's been an exceedingly hot day here for these guys in the boxes. You know, I couldn't even imagine how hard it would be to sit there. You know, yeah, it's, you know, inverted commas, only an hour on the horse. But you know what? It's a, it's a hell of a lot more when it's this hot. Thank you, Catherine. Exactly, Lindsay. Yeah, and they're taking applications. Uh, there are four of them in there right now. They've had a long and stressful day. They just want one volunteer uh, to come down and help out. Anyone here up for it? Yes, I'm very well spoken as well, 100%. Sandhurst material right there, obviously. They probably are, uh, but then again, aren't we, to be honest, in some ways. Speaking of which... Yeah, I, sh I, should, sure I should go in and help with stress relief. Oh, wait, who's this? Damn it. Oh, everybody. Everybody. Bingo, what's this? What are we looking at here right now? That's right, people. We are looking at the captain coming out on his horse. And I'm going to get myself into the tunnel to capture the captain coming out on his horse. How good is my timing, people, eh? Sorry, the lieutenant rather, not the captain. Lieutenant on his horse, leaving horse guards. Magnificent horse. I'm actually very glad that no toys were screamed at uh, because that would have involved multiple calls to the emergency services. I, I, to be fair, he's not acting like a captain. I mean, he is Captain Matura. We all saw that. Flawless presentation. Very, very well spoken, glorious voice, very commanding. Yeah, I mean, he is a captain fundamentally. Uh, he's only one pip short, so it will not be very long, will it, until he's cap captain and probably a major shortly after that. Very impressive. Anyway, we got lucky, guys, that time. 12 minutes past four, and he just left by horse. It's very rare that they leave that early. So that was quite lucky, wasn't it? Oh, we just missed the signs being taken down. Damn it, never mind. Where does he go? There is a, a Thai massage parlor uh, on the other side of St. James's Park, uh, near to Knightsbridge. He's just heading over there now. How do I know that? I mean, it's just, you know, it's a word on the street. I don't have any direct personal experience, obviously, of that, but, yeah, uh, so I've been told. Oh, just jumping the train, good stuff. Okay, folks, what a day that was. I mean, we went from, uh, what did we have today? We had crazy Frenchies. We had, I mean, yesterday we had crazy carpet fitters. Today we had crazy Frenchies, crazy off duty cops that weren't. Uh, I mean, we had all sorts, didn't we? We had screams and shouts and everything, I mean, pretty much. Uh, it's not London City Hall. Uh, where am I heading now? Home, my friend, is where I'm heading now. Uh, I will cut out the, uh, the glorious moment of this guard decided to let rip in the toy's face. We all heard it, we all saw it, it was a wonderful thing. As you can see, he absolutely has a glorious voice, as one would expect from such a, a fine looking fellow. Yeah, how they stand up so long. Two hours, yeah, in the arches. Especially in this humidity and heat, yeah. I know, extraordinary, isn't it? Up at 4 a.m., goodness me. I mean, to be fair, sometimes I wake up and I'm up at 4 a.m. as well. Uh, and I could quickly go back to sleep. Right, guys, there's our uh, our last view of the stable gates. Regrettably, the captain's not coming out. One, because there wasn't a captain. Uh, and two, how warm is it on London? Too warm. It's probably mid-20s now. 
I will show you lovely people how uh, nice and sunny it is. Oh, look at that old bus going by. What happened? All sorts of stuff. I'll post the highlights on the channel tonight. Before my voice runs out. Gosh, it must absolutely stink in the boxes. I've never actually filmed the uh, the chap taking down the signs at the end of the day, which is weird, considering that uh, I probably could have done, but it never happened. No, my pleasure, folks. Uh, I will be back soon. Will that be tomorrow? No idea. Um, the forecast for tomorrow, at the moment, um, is rain. Now, whether it transpires that it will be a wet and sodden day, I have no idea. Um, so we'll see. Let's see how it goes. Also, bear in mind, folks, that uh, this weekend is a bank holiday weekend. What does that mean? It means the most chaotic weekend of the year, probably, because it's the final holiday, triple day holiday weekend of this year uh, here in the UK and in London. So Sunday, sorry, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday are all days off. It's a three-day weekend. That means uh, inevitable chaos here at Horse Guards is definitely coming up, especially if it's going to be a warm and sunny weekend. The weather's going to be good. It'll be much like the coronation weekend, just madness. So I will either be having off tomorrow or Friday. Um, I will decide that in the morning. So if I don't appear tomorrow, uh, I will be here on Friday. No, have no fear. If however I do appear tomorrow, I will be off on Friday. So it's a bit of a tricky one. So uh, let's wait and see what happens in the morning, folks. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, beautiful afternoon, in fact. Really, really beautiful. Very hot. So I'm going to have a nice, cool, icy drink right now. In fact, I'm actually going to have an iced matcha. Mmm, yummy. I will do my best, Debbie. Um, sometimes I don't know myself because what I'm doing, as you can probably see, is sometimes I'm getting here very early. I'm talking to some of the guys, talking to some of my friends that film here, and also then shooting some content, which I then post. Uh, sometimes if I'm doing that um, I completely forget about if and when I'm going live or sometimes I just finish with the content and immediately switch the live on and I thought there's not really much point in me announcing in the group chat you know, potentially five minutes before I go live that you know hey I'm live uh, so apologies I will go back or revert to announcing in the group chat um, soon now that the network is back to normal because it does seem that the sensible solution to the issue of occasional network problems and the balance between YouTube and TikTok is to shoot the long form content in the morning, post it so you guys can see what I saw in the morning and then go live because there's no way I can go live between 10 and 4, 6 hours is just too much. In the sea it's way too much to be out and about. So I'm sort of splitting up in half as you can see. A few videos in the morning, then a break, then I come back to the first live, then have lunch, then the second live. And that so far seems to be, at least in this heat, the ideal formula. Yeah, so uh, that, that's the way it is for the moment. Yeah, it, it seems the perfect compromise to be honest because it's way too hot to be doing uh, six hours. Even with an hour break, that would still be two and a half hours plus two and a half. It's, it's too long. Even with my fitness level, it is very, very hot. Uh, I do post sometimes late at night and then often in the morning. Um, the morning videos are very popular with the Asian audience. The evening videos are very popular with the US audience. Uh, so yeah, I do a bit of both and it, it seems to be a good balance actually overall I've noticed with with the traffic with the numbers numbers have been very healthy with TikTok in the last week or two so uh, so far uh, I'm pretty happy with that yeah it's a very nice day I'm not sure if they've reopened Trafalgar oh they have actually opened it yesterday Trafalgar Square was completely closed all day uh, because there was a guy on the roof of the National Gallery I didn't know that until I got home which was curious wait Got a little disco party in the middle of the street here, everybody, look. This is pure London in the summer. <laughs> Lady, hey, take it easy. I was really hoping he wouldn't crash his bike then. <laughs> that was quintessential London summertime. What a, what a, what a stand-up guy, eh? Love it. Lady, hear me tonight. Whoops. Wow. It's always the sort of thing we see when it's boiling hot. Okay, ladies and gents, we are, just like these two tourists that are trying to find Buckingham Palace and have no idea where they're going, um, at a dead end. Yes, we are at a dead end. Meaning, regrettably, today's live. 
is almost finished. So here's our final shot over Glorious. Nelson's column in the sunshine. Look at that. Ta-da. Anyway, folks, back seeing great stuff from Mods today. A lot of videos as usual, but hey, they didn't last long. They never do. Thank you, VIPs as usual, for the support. Uh, and welcome to all the new people. I know I always say that, but hey, the numbers are going up pretty fast, so it's all good. How do you get to Bucking Place from here? You go through that arch right there behind me, and that leads directly to Buckingham Palace. Why? Because the street through that arch is called the Mall. So that goes from Horse Guards and Trafalgar Square, which is where we are right now, along the Mall to Buckingham Palace. It's a single straight line of roughly about 0 0.8 miles. Anyway, guys, out of here. Yeah, I will be uh, live at Changing of the Guard. Wait, which Changing of the Guard? It's meant the palace, uh, no, not for a while, too, uh, too busy. And there's no reception at Buckingham Palace. That's why nobody's been live streaming at this summer. It is impossible. What's to do tonight with my nine-year-old son? Uh, read him a book uh, and help him to improve his academic prospects. Guys, out of here for now. Back soon, everyone. Bye for now.